Hey everyone, it's Colt. Today I want to talk about TypeScript, what it is, what it looks like in as little time as possible. Um, I did just release a TypeScript course if you want to check it out. There's a coupon in the description. It's also my highest rated course of all time. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's get started. To talk about TypeScript, we first have to talk about our good friend JavaScript, which is a weird language. It's, it has its quirks, its oddities, um, and it never was intended to become as popular as it is today. And there's only so much you can fix with you know small changes to the JavaScript syntax. A little bit of duct tape doesn't help all that much, as you can see here. So this is where TypeScript comes in. The concept of TypeScript is that it makes JavaScript a better programming language or technically it is a superset of JavaScript. So all the JavaScript syntax is valid TypeScript syntax, but TypeScript adds on some other stuff. Now, what does it add on on top of JavaScript? Types. TypeScript is JavaScript with a types system. So what do we mean by a type system? Well, TypeScript performs something called static checking. It looks at our code, it's creepy, it's watching us, and it analyzes code before we ever execute it. That's called static checking. Now there's lots of languages that perform static checking. JavaScript is not one of them. But what TypeScript does this checking on, or the basis of these checks, is types. So TypeScript cares about types. When we say types, I'm talking about the kinds of data, the shapes of data in our program. What does this function return? What is the type of this variable? So here's a quick example of some TypeScript syntax. There's a lot of JavaScript in here, the class keyword, we write variables using const or let, uh, we have uh, const again, we've got the function keyword, we've got return, but there's also a bunch of extra stuff that isn't part of JavaScript, like these angle braces here, or angle brackets, whatever this is there, uh, same thing here, the interface keyword, that doesn't exist in JavaScript, now the next thing you need to know is that all of our TypeScript code is eventually turned into regular JavaScript. So right here I'm looking at a website called the TypeScript Playground, it's part of the TypeScript docs. On the left side I have TypeScript, I have that weird syntax, there's angle brackets, the interface keyword, all of that stuff is stripped out on the right side. This is the transpiled JavaScript, the resulting JavaScript that was generated from this TypeScript. So we don't actually execute TypeScript. We write TypeScript code in development, and then we compile it into JavaScript, and then use this in, uh, in our browser or wherever we use our JavaScript code. So TypeScript helps us in development. All this extra syntax helps us write better code, even if that code is changed and all that is stripped out when it's turned into JavaScript, it helps us catch problems before that process happens. Now let's talk a bit more about the types part of TypeScript. TypeScript allows us to express the relationship between types in our code. We can say something like, this function must return a Boolean, or this function accepts two numbers and it returns a number, or this object must have this shape. It must have a property called colors, and it must be set to an array of strings. These are all different places where we can incorporate types and we tell TypeScript what to expect. Or we start somewhere simple. This variable is a string. I've got uh, a TypeScript file open here. I can write some variable, let's call it color, set it equal to a color green. And if I hover right here, TypeScript is going to tell me that is a string. I know the type of that. And if I try and change it to something else, like the number one, it's going to complain immediately. Now there's ways around this if for some reason I wanted to change it to the number one, but TypeScript assumes that I didn't mean to do that, that it was an accident. Very simple example, but there is some type stuff in action. It starts as a string, TypeScript says this is of type string, and I change it, and TypeScript says, what are you doing, man? Or I have a function. A very classic example would be the add function, where we have two numbers and we return the sum of them. But the thing is, TypeScript doesn't know that these are numbers. These could be anything. Just like in JavaScript, I could call this function with true and 32, or I could call it with the string ASD and the number 123. That is not what I want. I want this to be a function that adds two numbers. That's the point. And I can tell TypeScript that. I can say, this is supposed to be a number. And this is supposed to be a number. So this is the type syntax. Again, not the point of this video, but here's some type syntax being incorporated. Now TypeScript is going to give me a bunch of errors and say, what are you doing? This is a Boolean. It has to be a number. 
Same thing here. This is a string. It has to be a number. You told me this function accepts two numbers. So a very simple example, but that's the sort of thing we do with TypeScript. We just get a lot more complicated than adding two numbers. All right, so you're probably not an expert just yet, but if you do want to keep learning, I have a new course, keep on the description. You know the drill. It covers all this stuff you see here, all the basics up to changing the TypeScript compiler, working with Webpack and TypeScript, React and TypeScript, the tricky syntax like generics, lots and lots of TypeScript stuff. It is, after all, a TypeScript course. Anyway, take a look if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.